What's going on, everybody? Come back. I'm going to give you my top five Tennessee state parks that I've stayed at so far. Come back and check it out. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick with Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. Okay, so as the title says, my top five Tennessee State Parks that I've either camped at, hiked at, visited, or multiple visits over the last few years. And like I said, this is just my top five of Tennessee State Parks. Now, I have stated others. They're just as nice. So, maybe down the road, I'll be able to come up with a top five for South, maybe. But anyway, let's get on to number five. Okay, so number five. You might be saying, Patrick, this is a little bit, um, you know, it's right here in your backyard. Yes, it is. I've never camped here, but I have hiked every trail except for one at this park. Um, and, the, and the trail that I haven't hiked, from what I understand, it's not that great. It's kind of boring. Um, so it is what it is. I mean, I could go hike it so I can say I hiked it. It's not very long. But the number five on my list is Cedars of Lebanon State Park. They have a bunch of camping there. I've never camped there. Well, I take that back. I camped there back in the 80s. That's been a few thousand years ago. So I haven't been there in a while. So Cedars of Lebanon, as you can guess, is in Lebanon, Tennessee. They have many hiking trails. They have a splash pad. You used to have a swimming pool. The, uh, it, the pool got taken away because of sinkholes. So they decided to put a splash pad in. A lot less to keep up with. I understand it. Saving a nickel. Horseback riding trails. So any of you guys that like to bring your horses camping, there's trails. Frisbee golf course. There is no lake anywhere near it. In the park. Let's just say that. There's no lake in the park. So you have to contend with that. Number four. So number four is where we had our last Tennessee YouTubers meet up. Um, still not sure if I'm going to get to do one this year or not. Apologize. Just got a lot going on right now. But Big Ridge is a really cool state park. Here's what you've got if you want to go check it out. you got birding, fishing, swimming beaches, boat rentals, hiking trails, canoe access, and paddling. Uh, some of the guys did paddle. So a lot of the guys fished. Um, I went out riding. I went out exploring like I normally do when I get a chance and I'm close to anything. Like I said, Chuck Schwann is not far from there. Really neat hunting grounds, but it's also pretty neat to go explore. Watch your roads. There are some of them that are kind of tighten, you know, was tightened up. <laughs> but uh, you have some other things really close to there to check out. So put that in the back of your head, Big Ridge State Park. Maynardville, Tennessee. Okay, so 2022 YouTuber meetup was held here. And then that was the second time I stayed there, I think. Cumberland Mountain State Park in Crossville, Tennessee. Once again, you have bike trails, you have birding, boats, rentals, canoe access, fishing, golf, hiking, trails, paddling, and pools. Um, Cumberland Mountain is one of those CCC parks that was, uh, you know, done back there in the civilian, civilian conservation corps came in and built these parks. Well, the state took over so many of them or all of them actually, and they became state parks and it is a beautiful park, has a beautiful bridge there, iconic bridge. Um, it, it's just a gorgeous park. We had a lot of fun there. Um, may go back to that one here sometime soon this year. Number two. Number two is David Crockett State Park in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is not the same one that we did a video on last year. 
of David Crockett's birthplace. This is David, Cro David Crockett's State Park um, in Lawrenceburg, where he, I guess, you know, had a lot of his adult time there. Whatever David Crockett, well, I know what David Crockett did. He had a darn steel. Tell you anything? Anyway, you have bike trails, riding, uh, um, I'm not sure what that was about. Boat rentals, canoe access, fishing, hiking trails, and paddling. Now, I do know this. Uh, David Crockett is the one we went to. We discovered they have the bald eagle nesting sites that you can view from away, from afar. Um, so keep that in mind if you ever want to go down there. I've been to David Crockett, David Crockett State Park two, three times. I uh, was actually looking at going down there this coming weekend, but I'm changing plans up a little bit, trying to weave around the weather. So, number one on my list, State Park, and I think it is actually number one on a lot of people's list. And I haven't been back since 20, let's see, when the pandemic hit, so 2019. Fall Creek Falls State Park. I would say it's probably our crown jewel of our state parks in the state of Tennessee. Um, you have Fall Creek Falls itself. You have a bunch of hiking. Well, let's go through the stuff. And it's in Spencer, Tennessee. So you have bike trails, birding, boat rentals, canoe access, fishing, golfing, hiking, obstacle course, pools, and rock climbing. What can't you do there? You can backpack there. Uh, there's a big backpacking trail. I know people do. I, I can't remember what system it's part of, but I know there is a big backpacking uh, trail there that leads you at the bottom of the falls and out, up, down, around. I've never done it, um, but I know about it. Um, you're not far from Virgin Falls. And I did that a long time ago, back in the 80s. We actually camped by the falls on the upper part of it. And that's all you heard all night was that waterfalls falling. So that's my number one state park in the state of Tennessee, according to my list. Now I will give you a couple of alternates or honorable mentions. So let's do that. So the first one may be headed there this weekend. Not really sure yet where I'm going. But honorable mentions go out to Nathan Bedford Forest State Park in Eva, Tennessee. They have bike trails, birding, canoeing access, disc golf, fishing, hiking trails, paddling, and swim beaches. It's a beautiful park. Um, I don't take anything from it. I've only been there one time. But, uh, you know, I loved it and want to go back. And that may be where I end up this coming weekend, not 100% sure yet. <coughs> Haven't made my mind up. And my number two honorable mention goes to Edgar Evans State Park in Silver Point, Tennessee. Now, this park is very unique when it comes to camping. Because you're not camping on ground, you're camping on platforms. RVs, tents, everything is on a platform. I'll leave a link or actually, I'll put a card and leave it at the end of my Tennessee State Parks or my, yeah, my Tennessee State Parks videos. Um, but Edgar Evans, you have birding, boat rentals, canoe access, fishing, and hiking trails. And you're camping on a platform the whole weekend. It's cool. Strange, but it's cool. Uh, I will say if you have mobility issues, it can be rough getting to the bathroom, so just keep that in mind. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, hit that thumbs up, hit that share, hit that subscribe, hit all them good things we need done to keep the channel going, and I'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.